What's going on guys? I consider myself a jack of all trades, but my name is Jeff, so welcome back to Jeff of all trades. A lot of you that have seen my videos before know that I used to be a big fan of the DPP mounting system. Now that sight accessory was good at the time, but I really didn't like the thickness of the plate. It was difficult to zero in. It was difficult to install. You had to shave metal off the bottom of it. Uh, and also biggest complaint was that it didn't have co-witnessing. I would like to introduce to you guys today the Dove Dot system. This is a very similar concept, but leagues above the DPP. With this system, it comes stock with co-witnessing. It comes with a new front sight with fiber optics of different colors. And it is thin, so zeroing in your red dot is never going to be an issue again. I'd love to show you the pros on this, why I fell in love with it, and I would absolutely love to show you how to install this on your guns as well. If you're sick of having to send your slide in to get it milled out, don't trust other companies, or don't have the money to buy a new slide, this is definitely the product for you. Stick around till the end of the video, and I might have a discount code for you as well. Let's get right into it. All right, so let's get right into it. First thing I wanna do, clear both of these guns before handling them. As you can see, no magazine in that. Go ahead and clear it. Nothing in the chamber. 17, no magazine. Also nothing in this chamber. So now that that's done, let's get right into talking about these different mounts we have here. This is the previous mount that I had, the DPP, that I've gone away from. And there's some major reasons why, and I really don't want to talk much about this one today, but I want to talk about the Dove Dot mounting plate kit uh, that I have for you today to review and go over with you. Now the one thing right off the bat I don't like about this DPP plate is the fitment. If I can get this to show, you can actually see light underneath the plate, in between the plate and the slide itself. Not to mention when you install the DPP, even on their website and instructions, I said it in my video, you're supposed to shave down the bottom of the dove plate itself before installation. With the dove dot, you can see that there is very minimal, if any, light. Right there, there seems to be a little bit but there's very minimal, if any, light in between the plate and the slide itself. And that's what you want. You want a nice snug fit. You want something that's actually fit to the gun. Now this plate that we have here today is for Glock. So this will fit on the Glock 43, the Glock 19, the Glock 17, Glock 27. Anything that has a Glock side slide, it will fit on, which is impressive. And I was a little leery on it before, because I thought, how are you gonna fit this plate on a Glock 43, which is their compact pistol? How are you gonna fit this plate on here, as well as on the 17, and still hold a good profile with not much, if any, overhang? Very small amount of overhang. And then we'll put it on the 17, and you'll see how that fits as well. If we compare that to the DPP, the DPP on the 17 has just as much overhang if not a little bit more. The other thing I want to point out right off the bat is the thickness of this plate. You might think the more metal the better, but in this case, when you're going to adjust a red dot sight, you want as much play as possible to be able to adjust the sight accordingly. The more metal you have in there, and the thicker the plate, the less you're gonna have for elevation. I had that problem on the 43. When I had the DPP on the 43, I found it very difficult to get the height adjusted for the red dot, to the point that I was actually maxing out a hollow sun red dot that I had on this because the plate was just too thick. I tried modifying it, shaving it down, adjusting everything that I could, and I could not get it to work. To the point of adding wedges underneath the red dot to try to get it to tilt down because I was shooting high at every shot. So that was a big inconvenience. Number two that a lot of people were upset about was there is no co-witnessing with this. With this, you get the plate and that's it. So 
If your red dot is on, that's fine. But if this goes off, you cannot use your iron sights at all. The dove dot took that into consideration. And with every package that you get, it actually comes with a front sight, which is raised. You can see on the plate itself, this is built in co-witnessing sights. If your red dot should ever fail you, you still have iron sights to co-witness with. A fantastic addition that I haven't seen anybody else come out with that has this good of a quality. Not to mention the fiber optics. They're beautiful. In the package you do get two different colors, but if you want different colors, whether it's for your eyesight, whether it's for the type of shooting environment you're going to be in, you can order different fiber optics to put in there. They're super easy to change out, super easy to install, and it comes with a bunch of different color options, which are fantastic. The other thing that I wanted to go over was the ease of assembly. Now, when working with a firearm, I do recommend going to a gunsmith. If you're not comfortable doing it yourself, this is a weapon, and this is something that if you carry every single day is needed to save your life and the life of others. So I do recommend going to a gunsmith if you are not comfortable doing it yourself. But with that said, this is something that you can definitely do on your own. So let's get right into that and show you how to take this DPP off and how to put our very own dove sight onto our Glock 17. Before we get into the installation of the dove dot, I just wanted to take a second to mention dovemounts.com. Go there, use my code JEFF10, anything you buy is going to be 10% off. They have these kits available, the different fiber optic colors you can get, as well as a Swamp Fox red dot sight and some shield red dot sights that you can get. It's fantastic red dots for the price. They're affordable, they're reliable, they hold zero, and they have quite an amazing guarantee from the company. Go ahead and check out dovemounts.com and make sure you use the code JEFF10 for 10% off anything there. Without any further ado, let's get into the installation of the Dove Dot mounting system. First things first, let's go over what's in the box here. So this is the box. On the back you can see what it's compatible with, whether it be the Glock, Sig, Smith & Wesson Shield, or the Shield Easy. So let's go ahead and open this up. And the first thing you'll notice is this card that also has what comes in the kit, and then the installation guide for exactly how to install this onto your own gun. Put that aside. Open up the first part, and this is the plate itself. Great quality, great machining on it. There's your, your rear sight that's attached directly to the plate. There's nothing else you have to do to it. And then it also it comes with your set screw in here as well. In the second half of the package, comes with sticker, the Allen tool that you'll need, the fiber optic colors that these come with are green and red. Again, if you want different colors, uh, something that can maybe suit your eyes better, I definitely recommend getting this pack. It comes with a uh, light orange, dark orange, and a blue as well. Um, these are really great for people that just either want a different look for their gun or somebody that can't really see those colors. I can't see the red very well myself, so it's great to be able to pick this up and toss the blue one in there uh, or the dark orange that works a little bit better for my sight. And then it also comes with the screws to be able to put in whatever red dot you have and then the front sight itself. Since we're handling the weapon again, let's go ahead and clear it again. Nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. Let's go ahead and get this taken apart. Once you have the slide off, 
first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take the red dot off of this mount. Now you can skip this part if you need to. I'll have the times down below. You can skip all this and get to just taking off this plate. Same thing is going to apply if you're taking off your rear sight. It's going to be the same steps and procedures. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and remove this red dot sight. Now that we have that off, we want to take this plate off. Now again, if you're removing your rear sight, this is going to be the same steps as if you're removing this plate. There's a dovetail plate in the back here. This is on a uh, Smith & Wesson shield, but this is where your rear sight goes. It slides in here, and that's your rear sight. So all you're doing is removing that rear sight you can see that cutout and inserting the dove dot mounting plate so you can put a red dot on there as you can see this one also is not MOS ready I'm getting ready to put a dove dot on this as well so all you're gonna do is remove this plate or your rear sight to be able to install the dove dot with this one in particular I have two set screws I'm gonna go ahead and remove these to get this off so I can put the dove dot back on With those two removed, you should be able to give it a few quick hits with a hammer and it should fall right out. Just like that, the old plate is off and we're ready to put on the Dove Dot mounting plate kit. Now if you were to remove your rear sight, Dove also sells this kit for insulation. All this is is a punch that's the perfect size to be able to put on that rear sight and hit it with a hammer and that sight will fall out the same way that that plate did. So I recommend getting one of these kits to assist you in getting that sight out. It also comes with some blue Loctite that we'll get into in a little bit and how you're supposed to apply that as well. Now let's go ahead and take the slide off so we can get this front sight out and get ready to put the new front sight mount on with the fiber optics. So if you've never taken a front sight out before on a Glock, it's very simple. I recommend getting the sight removal tool. If you can, you can get it off of Amazon for just a few dollars. And it looks like this. It's got a small profile so it can fit into this right there. If I can get it to focus on that. All you're gonna do is unscrew this screw here using this tool and that front sight will fall right out. If you don't have this tool, you can use your own socket set if you have the right tool and it's long enough and thin enough to get in there without obstruction. But I do recommend getting this tool. It's only a few dollars. You can get it off of Amazon. So go ahead and grab that. Put it to the side. Then if you flip it over, this will come right out. And that's all there is to it. Now we're ready for the installation of the Dove Dot system. So the first thing I'm going to do here, which is nice and simple, is go ahead and grab your front sight that comes with the mount. Take that screw out of the bottom. And when installing this, You will notice the location where this is going to go into the gun. You can see that it's at the furthest point forward. That's how you want it to go in. You want it to go closest to the muzzle of the weapon. So that's going to go on just like this. You can also notice on the back of this sight, there's a slight angle to it. You want that to be towards the rear of the weapon mount in the front, go ahead and square it up, flip it over, it'll line up with that hole nicely, grab your screw and screw it in, and 
Go ahead and tighten it down, but you don't want to over tighten it. You saw how small this little screw is. You don't want to over tighten it. It can easily strip those threads out. So I do recommend a little bit of Loctite. Once that's in, your front sight's all set. You should be squared and good to go. Before getting into the fiber optic for this, let's go ahead and put that rear sight in just to show you how easy it is. So this is your rear mounting plate. This one, of course, is made specifically for the Glock platform. Go ahead and use the Allen wrench that was included and unscrew that set screw. When you slide this in, it should go in about halfway on its own until it gets snug. Now when using the other one, you had to shave down the metal to make it fit and really bash it with a hammer. Some may think that's for better fitment, but as you can see with the light gap test, it definitely was not a better fitment. So this slides in just like that. Go ahead and put it on a flat surface. Take your hammer and just start to tap it in. Needs a little bit more. And that's pretty close. So at this point, you want to get it as close as you can using just your eyesight. I like to use a set of calipers as well to measure the gap on either side. But you don't want to put any Loctite on this because right now I'm going to put this in, snug it down, and then actually take this gun to the range and I'm going to make sure that the windage is accurate or your accuracy from left to right is lined up appropriately with that front sight. If you were to put Loctite on this, tighten it down as tight as you could, and then take it to the range and it's to the right a little bit or you have to push it to the left a little bit, then you're just gonna have to keep taking this on and off. So I do recommend that you tighten this down just snug, put the gun back together, take it to the range, and go ahead and test these sights to make sure that your windage is correct. Once you can adjust that accordingly, that your windage is correct for your front sight, go ahead and pull that set screw out. The plate's not going to move. Put some blue Loctite on it and go ahead and tighten it back down and it'll be good to go. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and put the red dot on here and reassemble the gun and put the fiber optic back in as well. For this build, we are going to be using the Holosun 507X. Now, this plate is good for any RMSC footprint, which is your compact sights. Now that might scare some people away because they feel it's a compact sight, the glass isn't big enough, this is a Glock 17, I need a bigger sight, but you'll see that when you put this on, it's actually a joy that anything with an RMSC footprint is going to fit this plate. So let's go ahead and screw this in. Now again, I would typically use Loctite to put this on to make sure that nothing moves around, but because I still have to sight in the iron sights themselves, I'm just gonna tighten these in without any. And then once everything is set and good to go, I will remove them, put Loctite on that set screw, and then I will also put Loctite on these screws as well. Once you have that set in, everything's on there. It's not going anywhere, it's good to go. Now let's go ahead and put that fiber optic in. I have the yellow on my 43, so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put the red in. Now on this, you'll see two holes on each side. This fiber optic will slide perfectly into both of those holes, just like that, and it'll be very loose as it's supposed to be. At this point, you need a lighter, a razor blade or scissors. I recommend a razor blade personally. So go ahead and grab your lighter. The way I like to do it is for doing the first one, just go ahead and heat it up. And all you're trying to do is heat it up enough to flatten this tip so it can't go back through 
that tiny hole in there. So it doesn't need to be much. You're not trying to melt it. You're just trying to soften it up just like that. And you should see that that mushroomed out a little bit. And that's plenty to get it from stopping and pulling all the way through. Pull through from the front, and you see how that stops. Go ahead and hold some pressure. And you want to be careful when cutting this. You don't want to cut it so close to the front sight that you don't have anything to melt and smush. But you don't want to cut it so far back that you have to melt it all the way through and you have this big mushroom head on the back end of it. So I'm going to take it and go maybe here with the cut. Once that's cut off, you can see that there's enough here that when I light it, I'll be able to melt it up and that'll secure it nicely. So all I'm gonna do is melt it and then just kind of push the lighter into it to smush it to where it's supposed to be. That's good to go. Nice and set, nice and firm. And at this point, if there's anything overhanging that you don't like, anything you want to trim off, you can go ahead and take your razor blade and cut off those imperfections and shape it however you'd like. Let's go ahead and reassemble the gun. And there you have it. Looks beautiful. In my opinion, leagues above what that other one was. We'll get this to the range, we'll get the windage sighted in on this, put some Loctite on everything, and we'll be good to go. And there you have it. The installation and a whole lot of benefits to the Dove Dot mounting system from DoveMounts.com. This is an amazing opportunity to be able to work with somebody who comes up with a product like this that is really consumer based. Not a lot of people care about the customer anymore. Not a lot of people care about the product they're putting out, but this was in production for a long time and I feel honored that they reached out to me to help review that product and to take it into my own hands to make sure it was as good of a product as they said that it was. Now, like I said before, they reached out to me and told me to test this thing before I even made a YouTube video about it and I did. I'm not the type of person to just take a product and put it on my YouTube channel unless I put my own name on it. And this, I would definitely put my own name on. I've never been a fan of cutting the slide. I've never been a fan of sending it off and hoping it comes back correct. If it's an eighth of an inch incorrect or a sixteenth of an inch, your entire slide is ruined. You have to buy a new one. There are trustworthy companies out there, but for the money and the lack of trust that I have, that's not the way to go for me. With this mounting kit, you no longer have to wonder. If you don't like it, take it off, put your iron sights back on, and you're back to stock anyway. But having the option to do this and to put a nice red dot sight on any of the guns that you have, new or old, is a great benefit. I appreciate you watching this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know, is anything missing? Do you like this better than the DPP? And let me know your thoughts on it. If you pick one up, make sure you go to dovemounts.com and use my code JEFF10 for 10% off of your order. Thank you for watching this video. As always, be safe, and I'll see you in the next one.